Okay, we're going to go over how to classify inventory as A, B, and C. Um, those of you that are taking my uh, production operations management class, this is problem 11-1A in your textbook. So we basically have several items in inventory right here, uh, seven different items, and we have their unit cost plus the annual volume. Um, of inventory okay we want to determine whether or what classification each one of these items are whether it's a b and c classification so let me go ahead and copy this down into the solution area mm -hmm. and we will okay so let me zoom in on this a little bit okay so the first thing we want to do we have annual volume we want to find percent value the, the annual volume of percent. So go annual volume percent. Oops. Okay, I'm going to copy this format. So I'm going to go to format painter and copy it over here. Okay, so the annual volume percent, in order to calculate that, first we have to total here. So I'm going to go here to auto sum and it highlights the numbers. Do I want to total these? Yep. Hit enter. And then I want to find the percent down in your volume. So it's going to be equal to 25 divided by the total. Now uh, we got to think ahead here. We're going to copy this formula down. So I want to have the, this 340, the denominator on each one of these formulas, on each one of these formulas here. So I'm going to hit F4 to make that an absolute reference. And it puts dollar signs in front. And then I can copy this down. Make it a percent, and we have our annual volume by percent. Now we can do the annual cost, and the annual cost is going to be equal to the unit cost times the unit volume. So I'm going to say this equals the unit cost times the unit volume, and I can copy that down and I get the different <clears throat> different unit co annual cost. Okay, let me cut move this over a little bit. Okay, and then finally we can have the annual cost in percent. Okay, so we're, in order to do the annual cost in percent, we're going to, have to do the same way we did the annual volume. I'm going to total it, and this equals this divided by this. Make sure I hit F4 and copy that down. Make that percent. Okay, so now I have everything classified. The next step we need to do, and now I have everything, now I have my annual cost, which is this one here, and I have my annual quantity. Let's call this quantity, which is this one here. But first, but we need to sort this first before we do any classifying. So I'm going to highlight. All of this, don't make sure, be careful so you don't highlight the totals. And I'm going to go to data, sort. And if you highlighted it right, you highlighted the headers, and then you're going to click my data has headers. And then you're going to sort by annual cost. You're going to sort it descending, largest to smallest. And we go OK. And now we can see, well, this is probably going to go, A is going to start here. These are probably going to start down here. So we classify our A first, and then our C second, and then B is going to be what's not in those two. So we can see that under A, 10 to 20% should be the quantity. Well, I already here, in this column, I already have more than 20%. Okay, so I would probably pick this one, even though the 40% doesn't read the 60% class goal. And I pick these two, I'd have 60%, but if I pick these, I'd even be farther away from the quantity. So normally after you sort it by annual cost in descending order, then you're going to kind of look at quantity. So I would pick this one as my A. Okay. So let me color it. So we'll go home, we'll pick that blue. Okay. So now we go down to C, and it's 50 to 60% quantity. So I could go here. I'm going to go auto sum. If I pick these four, that's 59%. So these four would be 59%. And 
I can't pick that because that'd be too much, too high. Now the cost, if I pick the same four, let's, let's go out of some unknowns. The cost, oops, let me do that again. Go out of some. If I pick the same four, that's 22%. So that's, so that's, uh, that's okay, but if I go down to 21% here, then I'd be outside of my range of quantity. Because if I pick these three, let me auto sum these three. I'm going to put it below. If I auto sum just these three, then it's 41%. I'm out of my quantity range. So I would pick these four as C. Because remember, I want to use my quantity goal first, then, and then and then I get my unit cost or my annual cost goal. So I would pick these four as C. Let me use uh, green for that. So this would be C, and this would be C, this would be C, and that would be these two as B. Okay. So that's how I would classify those. So normally, again, you first you have to find your annual volume or percent, your annual cost or percent, sort it. And descending from your annual cost, you could sort of do either one of these columns. It's going to sort them the same. And then finally, when you're classifying, first pick first pick percent. You know, you kind of try to meet your percent goal and not your annual cost goal. These kind of fall where they have to. All right. So hopefully that helps. That's how you do that one. Thank you.